Good morning everybody. I wanted to welcome you to my new studio space that I am so thrilled to be in. It's uh, 1,000 square feet and it's in a wonderful location here in Santa Fe. It's beautiful north light great track lighting already installed and I wanted to share with you um, some of the things that I use in my studio that might be helpful to other artists. This is a Hughes easel. Um, they were so wonderful to work with. I decided to purchase the wall mount version. I believe this is a 4,000, but I'd probably have to double check that. And I just like it because it takes up less space. And you might notice on the floor, I have two layers of the gym mats that you can get at Sam's. I do stand to paint, and so um, having that much cushion is uh, really helps with a long day. These uh, Parsons tables and these little drawers over here I got on Amazon, and uh, I keep all of my paint in these uh, in these drawers. I um, would love one day to get those really cool, swanky, industrial tables that they sell at Sam's and Costco, but maybe we'll do that one day. And I really like to have my uh, trash can covered. I empty that frequently. I really try to keep the fumes down. I'm an oil painter, but I use primarily uh, Gamblin painting mediums, varnish, and oil paint because uh, for health reasons. And I keep this little fan here. It actually, you know, keeps fresh air movement and blowing so that I'm not just standing right next to the paint surface and inhaling. This is my work table reading table, critique group table, and it's actually two folding tables. And it, you know, these are inexpensive uh, folding tables that you can get at Sam's and that gives you some uh, storage underneath. I get these white plastic, they're actually, um, what are they called? They go underneath your tablecloth table pads, I think. And again, I ordered those on Amazon. And this is my art library that I love. Um, I love getting to see my books. I love having access to them. And it's a great surface to, normally I would have bigger paintings up there, but it's a great surface. Naturally, I've messed up the surface. But these, um, these cabinets come from, these bookcases come from Ikea, and you can purchase the rollers separately, and also the drawers and the doors separately. So you've got a lot of options for configuring these bookcases. You can also turn them up uh, vertically if that works better for your space. And back here, well, that's a finished painting. It's about to get packed up and shipped out. But primarily back here, I have works in progress. Um, I just didn't want to put my easel slap in the corner. Uh, here we have a Sam's mat runway that goes back. I've got additional canvas storage here and I just recently got my drawing table out of storage because now I have this wonderful new large space to work in. 
So I'm excited to have access to that. And here's a little mini kitchen. Um, here's our back door. Uh, lots of interesting mops and ladders. And then here's an outdoor space if I need to do any varnishing or that sort of thing. And then this has a wonderful uh, office space. That's what I use it for. I call it my uh, world domination headquarters. Here's just a quick snapshot. It's nice to have uh, all of my extra art supplies and other items that I use in my art business. So I'll just take a quick walk back through. I hope I've covered everything that might be of interest to another painter or another artist. That's my mini trampoline that I'm supposed to be jumping on every day. Um, oh, here's a little group of paintings, plein air works that I did from a recent trip out to Ghost Ranch that was uh, a very nourishing experience. Anyway, if you have any questions about any of the items on the mini tour, please feel free to Facebook message me or uh, email me. Be happy to uh, answer any questions that anybody might have. Thanks for taking the tour with me.